Hi, good morning everybody. Thank you for tuning into Virtual Storytime with the National Railroad Museum. I'm your host, Engineer Alyssa. Um, if you're watching this live on Facebook, please comment and let us know that you're here and share it with your friends. Uh, we also like to invite you to like our page and to follow us so you can stay up to date with everything that is happening at the museum. The National Railroad Museum is a nonprofit organization supported by private and public donations and by our members. For more information about supporting the museum or becoming a member, please visit our website, nationalrrmuseum.org. Today, our book is Trainbots. So we got some robots doing things on a train. And if you think about it, even though a train isn't necessarily a robot that looks like this, trains can kind of be seen as robots I think um, I don't know if any of you ever had any like robot toys I know when I was little my older sister had this robotic dog that um, would like try to sit and stand and lay down and its legs would move and we would try to play with that um, the best we could but other than that, I didn't have a lot of robot toys, even though they're pretty cool. So if you want to tell me any robot toys that you have or had had, um, you're more than welcome to. But I kind of see a train as a robot sometimes, even though it might not look, you know, like a typical robot. So here's our book, Train Bots. And then we got our first page full of robots. Looks like they're all walking in space. So, train bots. Train bots drawing, sawing, building, hammer, clamor, lots of gilding, engine, tender, boxcar wheels, hitches made with iron and steel. So, we got some robots that are making the trains. Gears up front and caboose and back. Station platform and railroad, railway tracks. Train bots ready and train bots steady. So if you look, they're all lining up to get right on the train at the station. Train bots boarding, how rewarding. Train bots zooming, unassuming. Bad bots peeking, sneaking, scheming, hopping, dropping, bad bots teeming. So we get introduced here to the bad bots. And they look like they're up to no good. Engine stopping, hitches popping. Now the train is flipping flopping. That looks pretty wild. Train bot scanning, planning, waving. Must outsmart the misbehaving. So we got some good robots that are all worried and then the bad bots. Who must be doing some naughty things. Train bots drafting and engineering. Clever crafting, rocketeering. So now they're working on a plan. <laughs> Sorry, my dog found her toy. Flying, spying, hero bots, tying evil bots in knots. Bad bots sighing, crying, wailing. Hero bots are now prevailing. So now they're tying up the bad bots. And if you see even in the back there, flying around saving the day. Train bots moving, grooving, driving. Pretty soon they'll be arriving. What does that say, guys? Kids Town. That must be what, where they're headed. Packing, stacking, changing gear. Chugga chugga choo.
Looks like they're unpacking some stuff. They're here. Boy bots, girl bots, kids bots cheering. Brand new toy bots are appearing. Toy bots ready? Toy bots steady? Kid bots screeching, reaching, swaying, tugging, hugging, time for playing. Not just toy bots to these kid bots, these are friend bots till the end bots. And I think that's the end of our story. So we have our little train bots that defeated the bad bots and they got the new toy bots to all of the kids um, that wanted them. So I thought it was a pretty good ending here that they will be friends forever. So this is our book, Train Bots, today. I will be back the rest of the week with more stories for you guys at 10 o'clock a.m. Um, this book is also on our website after, under the Engineer Alyssa tab. And uh, I'll be posting a craft down below. Also on our website in the activity zone where you can find all my past story times. And then I'm also up on YouTube as well. If you just search Engineer Alyssa, you can find all of my past stories um, on the National Railroad Museum page. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. It looks kind of rainy out still, so I hope you stay dry. I will try to as well. And I hope to see you all tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Bye.